Look at these heckin' cats. They think I don't know. They walk on my desk. Their little paws. Keyboard. We're building the servers today. This will be going into a group by October 25th. Whoa. 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 Very interesting. Accent side color. Whoa. Eat. This is an effortless TKL. You see the arrow keys, the nav cluster right here. No effro right here. Here's where like the base of the keyboard is. A couple of things to point out on this. So first thing is that the sides are accent sides. So you got this nice like purple. And then if you look here, it's the three doggos. As far as I know, their eyes light up too. As you can see, the case is held together by the screws right here. You won't be able to see any visible screws on the outside. So looking at this asymmetrical weight or plate right here, I'll take this off later to look at it, but you do have this piece right here. It does have smooth tops and bottoms, so you can see there's like no harsh corners, at least on the outside of the board. Here's the side. So you don't see any seam for the top and bottom case. You just see this accent side. The USB side has the curve and then here you can see the curve. So it's kind of flip-flopped, right? So you see the curve right here and then the curve right here. Sharper corner on opposing sides, curvy corners on opposing sides. Here's the back. Once again, you have this little weight with the theme, three-headed doggo. So you have this purple to match the purple sides and then you have this silver weight. That's on the two sides. It's not too big. I think this is actually relatively very small. I thought this would be bigger, but this is actually smaller than I expected. So you see three colors. You see this lavender, the silver, and this color. And then you have the four feet. And then here you can see the curve for this back side. And then once again, you can see the accent sides. Here is the USB port. Here's actually where you can finally see the seam of where the top and bottom case meet. I'm guessing the seam is hid by this accent piece, but here is when you finally see where the top case would go over the bottom case on the USB port side. And then you have really, really small Canon Keys branding logo. Very small. They put it right above the USB port. And here I was talking about the seam for the top and bottom piece. And then here is the front lip. So it looks like you have this little cover right here for the battery. Battery would go right here and then here you have all the screws for the weight. This piece is actually one piece, a separate piece. Nice engraving on it. These two side pieces are also separate so it fits in like a puzzle piece, right? It's like a cookie, right? So this has three screws it fits in like that and then this one also has three screws and this side piece also has three screws so for the weight you have three screws for each pieces and since there's three pieces it's a total of nine <laughs> math <laughs> and there's actually a cut right here right here so they have included this channel right here so for the battery to just poke out and then connect right here so six case screws, three on bottom, three on top. The thing with this board is that it's a single-sided gasket mount. It's like, imagine like top mount, but with gaskets. <laughs> and the gaskets sit between the plate and the bottom case. These are actually pop-out feeds. They looked adhesive, what, like how deep they were, but these are actually non-adhesive. There's additional screws right here. So instead of just using the screws for this from the front, so the three, you actually have four screws on the back as well. So you have six screws on the front, four screws on the back. These just help compress it a little bit more. Deconstructing the case, here is the bottom. You can see there are no sidewalls but you do see there are walls on the top and bottom. Here are the gaskets where they've been installed. So the gaskets go on the bottom and not the top. And this is a single-sided gasket mount. Here you can see the gaskets. Here you have like little pegs as like a force brick and also to catch the top piece as like alignment tabs. So six gasket points. The gaskets are adhesive and they're not all the same size. These two are smaller. But then look at the top case. You have this little daughter board for for the LEDs for the front doggo eyes. There are alignment tabs 
on the side pieces and then the side pieces are screwed in with these two screws. So the side pieces are the walls. So there's no walls on the top and bottom. All the walls are made by the side, it seems. So you like the two screws and there are anchor points. They've added like little force break mods. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's these little gasket tabs, right, that they've added. So not only do you have the holes for the alignment pegs, but then you also have gaskets throughout the top. This is where the screw or the bottom piece would go into and it attaches to the side piece and the top piece. So this is what holds it together. So they could have just done the two screws on the side, but I guess for the gaskets to compress it even more, they added the internal base screws as well. This board comes in WinKey and WinKeyless. Each of the combinations is a little bit different. You can buy the separate weights on the back for the doggos. And yeah, you can buy different side pieces as well. So the side piece and the doggo piece match. You can also buy different bottom weights. So honestly, you could pretty much configure this, the doggo, and the two sides to whatever color combination you would like. So they're offering four plates, aluminum, FR4, PC, and carbon fiber. I have the FR4 and the aluminum. So pretty standard plate, no flex cuts. You can see the gasket mounting tabs, right? So the three on top, the three on the bottom, and the same goes with the aluminum. There is a tab cut out right here, but the alu plate doesn't have it. Otherwise, everything looks pretty much the same. And then this is the hot swap PCB but there's also a solder version. Also no flex cuts. It looks like you only have one bottom row for the prototype. For the group buy, you'll have your choice of bottom row. You also get a step to regular cap slot. You can split the right shift and then you can do split backspace. This PCB is not final. Looks like the hot swab will have QMK via 1.6 mm. Solder will have ISO. And then on top of that, they'll also have a wireless one. Wireless, you can only have two choices. You can either do split backspace or you can split the right shift. There is no step or regular caps lock. Three PCB options, solder, hot swap, wireless, and then you can buy the daughter board kit. I didn't see any foam with this one, but you can add the foam if you would like. These were alignment pins, so you can buy these as well. You can buy the gasket kit, and then if your feet are no longer staying in place, you can buy those separately. So the Adeli was one of the first keyboards I saw when I entered into the hobby, but I was like, it's so pretty, but I can never realistically use it. And then I saw the price and I was like, holy, why am I paying so much for less? But it, it was really pretty. I really liked it, but. I I thought about buying the Gen 2 because I saw it on sale a few times, but I was just like, I'm I don't really see the point of like buying keyboards if they're not Alice's at this point. <laughs> so
So this is the Cerus following the same like mythological creature so chimera this is the cerberus a froless tkl available in wind key and wing keyless and then you also have a handful of different colors so you have hades persephone pluto the depths designer choice ectoplasm sleeping hollow and demonic this has eyes leds that you can configure in via so it's interesting because this case you don't see any visible screws as long as you have the feed in right so it takes 10 screws to open this board so you have the four hidden underneath the feet then you have six on the top side and after you removed all 10 screws then you can take this off it does use a molex for both cables so you'll need a cable for the main pcb and also one for the led side eyes one thing to notice this is designed by upas and so they do have the canon keys logo branding actually right here on the usb it's very small i think that's good I know sometimes like big vendor brandings that are visible, people are like, oh no. So they opted to go with like a smaller branding, but no branding inside. Here you can see it does use a different daughter board cable for the LEDs, so you don't have to worry about confusing them. While the tabs on the plates rest on these gasket tabs, you can see this hole is for the alignment, but Upas has actually added gaskets right here, which act as like a force break mod. And there's a total of 10. I actually think by adding the force break mod, it makes it sound more like a gasket. I understand why he added it though, in case there's like ping. But I think by adding these, it actually makes it sound like a bit more gasket-y. And then you can see where the tabs on the plate would go, right? It would just slot in like that. And then you notice these gaps. These are where the alignment tabs are. So this is to basically prevent the plate from shifting because when you have a gasket mounted board, you're reliant on the gaskets and basically sometimes finagling it to make sure that it's aligned. But by having these alignment tabs for the plate, it basically makes it so that you don't have to like shift the plate to make sure it's in the right place. Like the tabs on these side will make sure that it's aligned. Because with top mount, right, you screw the plate into the case so you know it's aligned perfectly. But with gasket, you're not screwing anything together. But by adding these alignment tabs, you don't have to worry about anything being slightly off or whatever. It looks like the board starts at 285. So it looks like demonic is going to be your most expensive one, starting at 395. So the medallion, you can get it in 15 choices. Bottom weights, same choices, 15 choices, side piece, same. And it looks like they're going to add a version where the side accent pieces and bottom weights are PVD. I think if you like this theme, if you like the chimera, if you think the little eye leds are interesting if you like the whole mix and match you know the sides the interesting things about this board to me is the side pieces that you can change it and also the led eyes like that that's what i like it's also interesting that they're really pushing like the zmk and making sure that you can do the wireless i do think if you like gasket mounted boards this is perhaps something you like but as like a disclaimer that it doesn't quite sound like top mount understand the idea behind it but at the end of the day it is a gas commanded keyboard and you know some people don't like the mix and match some people get like choice paralysis but i think it looks really nice but if you don't like angry looking doggo eyes then <laughs> but some interesting design choices bia can control these leds and then they're working to see if they can get these as indicators that would be really cool so like if you had one set of eyes caps lock, the other set of eyes num lock, the other set scroll lock. That'd be really cool. So looks like they're saying it will be likely either or. So either you flash the firmware to have the eyes work as indicators or have them be controlled via via. Yeah, that's the board. Thank you Canon Keys for reaching out to me and letting me build it. It's a neat board.